Hello everyone, this is Charlie from Garden FL and today's video we're going to go over some of the sugar apple flowers that are here blooming at my house here in Bradenton, Florida. Now it is currently May 31st of the year 2021 and sugar apples are in bloom and many sugar apple trees are already holding fruit but I just want to share with you a review of some of my sugar apple flowers that are blooming so we can get a better look at them and understand kind of the development from flower to fruit. So let's get started. So here we are in the morning time. Now in the morning time when it comes to sugar apples is very vital to some sugar apple flowers, especially when they're in the female stage. Now right here we have a few sugar apple trees. Now these sugar apple trees are a mixture of the Nadai Vietnamese variety and of the Thai lesser variety. So as you see, if we look closer, here is the sugar apple flowers. Now as you see, many of the sugar apple flowers are in various stages as you see, some sugar apple flowers such as these ones right here had already bloomed and you could tell that the sugar apple flower has already bloomed because you could see the brown petals kind of like the dried up petals as you see the one right here in the middle actually hasn't bloomed yet it's still pretty small probably another few weeks for this one right there in the middle to bloom and actually the one all the way on the right is actually sugar apple flower which has already bloomed as well as set a fruit in fact right here if you peek under the bloom you see a baby sugar apple now yes guys this will eventually turn into a bigger sugar apple and form into the very well round uniform fruit that we all love as you see this right here is a very baby adolescent sugar apple now believe it or not this sugar apple i did not hand pollinate this one was actually pollinated by the nitulid beetles here in florida but as you see the sugar apple is still so very tiny and over the months that sugar apple will grow into a beautiful sugar apple fruit so taking a look at these sugar apple flowers up here as you see the sugar apple will send out its flowers on the new growth so if you're ever wanting to make your sugar apple reflower or flower it is always best to cut your sugar apple or prune it and sugar apple flowers will emerge off the new growth as you see there they start off very tiny but as they grow in size as you see they become much bigger until they become something similar to this which right here, which would be a much bigger sugar apple flower. So right here we have an example of uh, a male sugar apple flower. Now the male sugar apple flowers are actually very widespread open. As you see the petals are actually very kind of wide apart. And right now we're gonna also find a example of a female sugar apple flower. So right here hiding under the leaves is actually a female sugar apple flower. Now you could tell the sugar apple flower is in female stage just because the petals are more tighter together. As you see these sugar apple petals are much more tighter unlike the male one right over here, which the petals are much more wide and spread open. Now the sugar apple flower will also come in two forms. Now the sugar apple flower actually takes two forms. Now when it first blooms, it will first start off as a female flower and the next day, roughly 24 hours later, it will become a male. So typically when these flowers get bloomed by natural pollinators, the natural pollinators will go into a nice smelling female flower wait until the next day and it'll be covered in pollen. Then they'll find another female flower and that's how you actually get the natural pollination. But if you were to manually pollinate uh, this sugar apple flower, like many other people do, then you're gonna need to take the male pollen from the male sugar apple flower and insert it into the female flower. Now, something else about sugar apple flowers is when they start to bloom, many sugar apple flowers will actually fall off and that is just completely normal. Sometimes a tree is actually still learning how to produce a flower and you know uh, produce a full bloom cycle so that is very it is very normal some people actually freak out and think the sugar apple is not blooming but it's just typically normal for the sugar apple to drop a few flowers in its flowering cycle so the sugar apple tree is able to fruit in a pot as you see right here we have an adive inimi sugar apple and this one's in a I believe a 25 gallon pot but it's actually holding fruits right here As you see, this sugar apple branch actually has two naturally pollinated sugar apples on them. These sugar apples, although they were pollinated by nature, they are fairly well-rounded. And this stuff right here on the sugar apple is just uh, it rubbing against a piece of wood, the bark. So it's just a cosmetic thing on the sugar apple. Now, as you see, this tree still is producing more flowers and this one actually is one in bloom, currently the female stage flower because the petals are more tighter. But throughout the sugar apple season, your sugar apple tree will keep producing flowers until it sets a few fruit. Now, once you actually start to set a few fruit 
on your sugar apple tree, the production of the flowers start to slow down and the energy then goes more focused towards the fruiting. But if you actually don't set any fruit on your sugar apple tree, it'll then focus more onto just growing more leaves vegetatively. So sometimes you get a big tree with no fruit. Well, it's just because uh, your tree decided to focus more on the flowering, uh, I mean more on the leaf growing side, but actually with the sugar apple trees, you can actually manually strip uh, leaves on your sugar apple and that will that will promote it to produce flowers so sometimes so that's just a tip for you guys if you have a large sugar apple tree with no fruit or flowers you can always strip a few leaves to promote it to uh, produce more flowers because like I said earlier the sugar apple produces flowers on the new growth of the sugar apple tree here's an example of a sugar apple flower that gets aborted even before it's able to produce so sometimes the flowers will end up like this they'll just shrivel up and it'll fall off so it's no worries as you see because this sugar apple tree is still producing some flowers oftentimes a sugar apple when you do prune it they will produce something called a bud spot and by a bud spot it just means a high frequency point on the sugar apple tree where it does produce a lot of flowers as you see from this one point we have about uh, seven to eight flowers as you see this larger one here is actually in bloom already and it's a little awkward shape but only because i believe it's all these other flowers are in the way but look at just, uh, you can kind of see the development from the very baby flower. It almost looks just like a little baby point, you know, growing all the way into this uh, flower right here, which actually smells like a banana, kind of like a banana sugar uh, smell a little bit when the flower is in full bloom. When it comes to some sugar apple flowers, a lot of times they like to bloom off the end of the, of the branches, as you see right here. This sugar apple branch is, is the very end, but look at all those sugar apple flowers that are just re-emerging from the new growth from the tip. As you see, this flower right here is actually already blooming. And believe it or not, I actually pollinated this flower right here this morning. So we're gonna see if it forms a fruit. But all over this sugar apple tree, as you see, it is just loaded with flowers. But this one has already bloomed for us. So throughout the months of April and May, you know, is when the sugar apples are most heavily in blooming. But depending on when you trim your sugar apples, you know, you could always invigorate them to flower another time. But overall, the sugar apple flower is a very interesting flower to look at and also to have in your yard because being able to pollinate them, you know, form just a beautiful little fruitlet. As you see, we have little baby sugar apple there growing. But I just can't wait to be able to eat some sugar apples from my tree. And overall, sugar apple is just an excellent fruit to be able to grow in Florida, especially if you don't have space. Because look at all these pots that have these sugar apples in and they're just doing great already flowering for me. So I really just can't wait for the sugar apple season. Here's another beautiful sugar apple flower in bloom, female, because as you see, uh, the petals are not as tight and they do smell very good. So thank you guys for watching the sugar apple video. I hope you learned something new about the sugar apple flower and also got a closer look at one of my favorite fruiting flowers. So thank you guys again. This is Harley from Garden FL and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye now.